Alright, keep going here. Hell sweep. Finally seeing it from him. Oh, oh he gets he by, by the second hit! Alright, he's got him on the wall. Back one. Alright, hits him with the down forward four still. Nice sidestep. Still side got him step. on the wall. Good break. Keeping the pressure on. Down forward four still working out for him. Good break once again. Oh. <gasps> Tried to power crush through. Good try, good try. Still got Drew on the wall, and that's going to clean that up. Gallo playing a lot cleaner, although he lost the first game, taking the momentum from that comeback. That's where I can help out, actually. So that'll be cool when he comes out. All right, well, you got to teach me how to use KOM uh, <laughs> movement and stuff. I will, definitely. Okay, cool. Oh, launch punishable. All right, he's got the meter, though, so oh, this what? life lead could evaporate in an instant. Oh, catches him out of there, but Akuma still gets a combo. Alright, it's got him on the wall once again. Just gonna roll oh, out of the way. He could've just went the wall daddy too. Oh, oh that's it! Counter hit! Oh no, he went for the slide after that's once. Not this hit. is the Oh, what? what the hell? hell is happening? Akuma's <laughs> low forward is so long! What is going that on? That was the slowest slow-mo ever! <laughs> that doesn't happen if he was a Tekken character. <laughs> Let's get hit by running two again. Man, something interesting I've noticed about this match is that KOF Tekken hasn't been able to use forward forward one too much. It's really oh, yeah. interesting. This just means that Jesse's moving very well, making it difficult for him to to use it safely. Oh yeah, that's true. We we always see in a lot of matchups where that four four one from Jack is one of the tools used in a neutral a lot, make him force block, walk him to that corner. But I guess the fact that he's not doing it shows why Sentinel Message is going in right Ooh, now. Another running two to finish it off. Round three.